So what you're looking at is a quick preview of how to do your valve adjustment and the sequence you're going to need. Hey guys, really quick, I wanted to show you something, a real easy way to do a, when you're doing your valve adjustment and you wanna rotate the engine, what you're gonna to wanna to do, rotate in the direction that the engine normally will go or rotate. In this case, you are gonna need your socket, your, your ratchet, and then you're gonna to wanna to use the accessory drive to rotate the engine. Okay, now right now you don't necessarily have to have top dead center one, TDC one, okay? Now you do that by verifying there's your timing pin or there's your timing hole, and you would assess, essentially insert a pin that meets up with the crankshaft. That's if you're going to look for TDC one, but we're not doing that. So what we're doing right now is we're simply gonna do, start with the first injector, okay? And I'll show you the sequence right now in a second, but right now what you're gonna to wanna to do, okay, if you can see here, this is your cylinder one, two, three, so on and so forth, okay? On cylinder number one, this is your injector lobe, okay? Exhaust, intake, injector, okay? When this injector travels max height, okay? In other words, it doesn't go any higher, and but before it starts to go down, okay? Once it goes, it's, it's peak, okay? You can use a dial indicator or just simply kind of kind of eyeball it. And once it stops, it doesn't go any further up, but before it starts to go down, stop there. Okay, that tells you you're gonna be on the number one. So at this point, again, I'll show you the, adju the adjustments on the sequence. You're gonna adjust injector one, and then it should be valves number five. What I'd like to do is get rid of the jake brakes, get them out, okay? And then we're gonna torque everything down, and minus the jake brakes, and start our valve adjustment. I'm gonna show you how to do that right now, one sec. Now all you're gonna need to do is re remove some bolts on the jake really quick before we go any further. Like that. One, two, three, four. You've got a little hidden right back there. Can't see it, it's a little nut. You can use your 18 millimeter. You've got another one there. And then once you remove this harness, the injector harness, there's another bolt there. So you remove all six bolts and the nut. Okay, and that'll, that'll let you take out your jakes and it'll give, give, that'll give you access to your rocker arm. All right, so let's get this removed. I'm gonna show you how to torque it down and then we're gonna start with the valve adjustment or tune-up as some people like. Really quick on a side note, when you're removing your injector harness, you're gonna look for three Allen bolts, okay? Those are, that's essentially what's gonna hold down the harness on top of your jake brake. Now, if it's covered in oil, it's gonna be a little hard to see, but there's one, there's two, and then your third one is right there, okay? Remove those three you're simply gonna push your injector harness in towards, okay, towards your rocker assembly, towards your jakes, and then you're just gonna fold it over, okay? That way you get it out of your way, and that gives you some nice access to your rocker assembly, okay? Your front and your rear. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now in a second, but let's get this harness removed and the rear jake brake. Okay, now that you've got your jake brakes removed, okay, what you're gonna wanna do is torque everything down as far as your rack goes, okay, or your rocker arms. You've got your rear rocker arms, you've got your forward rocker arms. Either way, you're gonna to wanna to torque everything down, okay? Again, it's gonna be the 18 millimeter. Do everything by hand, and then once you get down to the bottom, you've got everything tightened down, you're gonna to torque it down. I think the recommended foot pounds is 90 or 95. Double check your books on that or your, your torque specs. And again, what you're gonna to wanna to do is just install the tubes, and that's gonna give you the same height as though you had your Jake brakes, okay? These, these little tubes, you can buy them at Freightliner or or Detroit, they're pretty cheap, but they come in handy, especially if you're doing tune-ups or valve adjustments on your Detroit Series 60, okay? So again, tighten everything down, torque it down, and next I'm gonna show you the sequence, and again, I'm gonna show you how to do the valve adjustments and your injector. Now, I always like to start with injector one, valves five. Okay, so now that you've got everything set up and torqued down, again, we're gonna start on the number one, okay? So this is your, let's see if you can actually see that there, okay? there's your valve adjustment process. Okay, so you can see we're gonna be starting on injector number one, which means you're gonna adjust injector number one, and then you're gonna adjust, adjust valves number five. Okay, and you're just gonna simply follow the sequence, follow it all the way down, okay? Now, I've already done number one, which is pretty easy to do as far as adjusting your, you so now that you rotated your engine, okay? You already finished your injector number one, Valves number five, okay? So now you bar over the engine. You're not gonna rotate completely, just bar it over. And again, this is your injector lobe. This is your exhaust. 
and this is your intake, okay? A little, a little hard to see because it's kind of hidden inside the engine. Now, once this travels up as far as it's gonna go, but before it starts to go down, travel, travel down, at that point you stop, okay? You're gonna adjust your injector. This is your injector here, okay? Then if you go by the chart, injector five, valves number three, okay? So again, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? So one, two, three. Now we're gonna adjust our injectors. I'm sorry, injector first, valves, whatever's easier for you, okay? The idea is make your adjustments. So right now we're gonna do number three. And again, just grab a feeler gauge, okay? This is your exhaust feeler gauge. And again, the measurements are on the side of the, the valve cover. Now you just wanna slide that in, okay? And depending on how tight that is, it, it will either slide in easily, look how that's Okay, that's pretty difficult. See, I'm having a lot of trouble getting that in there. So we're gonna definitely have to loosen that up and adjust that, okay? Now you're gonna to wanna to do the same thing to the other valve, okay? And adjust that, work on your intakes. And again, good rule of thumb, as you adjust, just get a little marker and mark on there, okay? Whatever, whatever's easy for you. This is your injector, these are your E for valves, okay?